die Pussy Star. Endlich die Pussy Star. Nach zwei Wochen. Immer so viel Zeit. Ich muss meine Antwort auf Knopf abschicken und dann endlich nach zwei Wochen vielleicht die Karte bekommen. Hm? Warte mich jetzt nicht einfach online. Ein paar Klicks. Alles ist erledigt. Keine Wartezeiten, Wochen und Monate und etwas zu erledigen. Even though Germany is not the European leader in digitalization, Germany has focused its development on many other different areas that play a big role in the global development landscape. One of them is the IoT, the Internet of Things, which has been increasingly gaining importance due to different government initiatives for the smart cities development, work on the digital transformation in Germany, and also from the initiative from many companies, small medium enterprises and different startups that are coming up every single year that have realized about all the importance about the 4.0 industry, which includes, of course, the IoT and artificial intelligence. Now, it would be a mix from both, would be AIoT, and in general, all the benefits that come with it. This way, the industrial IoT or industrial Internet of Things, together with artificial intelligence, is starting to be included and used more and more by German enterprises. To the point that this year, the term AIoT is starting to be used in order to make reference to the work of IoT, the Internet of Things, together with the AI, artificial intelligence. I have spent some quality time doing some research about it because I'm very interested in this topic and more specifically while doing some research about the job market in Germany, that's how I came to the topic of IoT. The market also keeps growing all the time, which means that more professionals also from all kinds of different areas are going to be needed to work in IoT. Other different areas like finance, marketing, customer service, and so on. For instance, so if you're looking for business opportunities or if you just want to invest on an emerging market or just want to get a job, work on the IoT market, or maybe create your own startup, your own business, but you're not really sure what's gonna be your focus on, what kind of areas you can work on, what kind of business, what kind of startup, or what kind of job you can have. IoT is giving a lot of opportunities, so you might wanna take a look at it and learn a little bit about it. It definitely has a lot of potential. But that is not just for engineers. It's not just about technical careers, but also many other areas. Most people working in IoT startups are mainly engineers or software developers or have similar related backgrounds. But there's no specific major, there's also not a specific profile or not a specific role in order to work in IoT. Yet. I also think it's just very important that more people get to know about it. Even if you're not gonna work with it, even if you're not gonna make a startup in IoT, or maybe if you're gonna do it, or if you're looking for a job as well in a different area, it might be just important to learn and get to know about it, since it might be very relevant to one of your areas in the future. Or even if you're not looking for a job or looking to set up your own business or startup, you're just a normal person with a normal job that has nothing to do with it. I still think it's important just to get to know about it and also understand the basics about it. Because I think there's so many misconceptions around this topic, technology, artificial intelligence and so on. So that's why I think it's important for you and the whole population to know a little bit of how it works instead of just keep making assumptions about how robots would replace humans. Selbst haben die Autos drinnen eine Menge Arbeitsplätze vernichten. Hoffentlich passiert das nie. Das gab so wirklich. Und wer will das Auto überwachen, die Wand unterführen, die Software zu steuern und das Auto zu entwickeln und sich um diese Software kümmern? So, if you're interested on this topic and are looking for job or business opportunities in Germany, the IoT or even more, 
Now the AIoT could be what you're looking for. Germany is very strong in the machinery, technological and automotive industries and the AIoT is perfect to bring all of these advantages together and take them to another level and help Germany keep positioning itself as a leader in the global competition. The high quality manufacturing industries benefit through different machine automated tasks that make processes faster, safer and the data exchange between devices which helps analyze all kinds of data and identify potential problems like the bottlenecks and find solutions for them. For these purposes, the IoT comes with all kinds of sensors in order to collect specific data. For the collection and analysis of this data, there's also specific type of platforms, IoT platforms, which at the end make up the whole infrastructure for an IoT solution. For these reasons and many, many more, IoT, or better said, AIoT, is becoming a lot more relevant in Germany. And it looks like, like it's just the beginning. According to statistics, the IoT market in Germany is expected to reach more than $1 million in revenue in the year 2022. That would be only behind China and the United States. This also shows that a big part of the revenue gathered from the IoT market comes from the smart home technologies, which is very interesting, I think, because it goes more for the IoT consumer technology and not just the industrial IoT, which is also gaining a lot more relevance right now. But also in Europe, according to Eurostat, the Federal Statistical Office, the average use of IoT technologies in Germany by enterprises in 2021 was 36%, which is above the European average, which was 21%. The countries with the highest average in Europe were Austria, Slovenia, Finland, and Sweden. But not just according to these statistics, but also the situations going on in general around the country during the last years. Well, maybe not just in the whole country, but also situations that have had influence in general around the world. For instance, the situation with COVID-19, it has had so much influence and it has one way or another helped many countries to improve digitalization and create more strategies and incentives to work on it and make use of digitalization as a solution for all these kind of problems arising through the COVID-19. During this COVID-19 era, there's so many other problems arising and one of them, for instance, was the unexpected chip shortage that at the beginning was a big problem for automotive concerns. Nobody would have really ever imagined that such a problem with the chip shortage would really have so many problems in the production. According to IoT Analytics, this shortage prevented deliveries of 20 million cellular IoT ships in 2021, which also might have further implications during this year and even the next year, 2023. This shows somehow also the big importance of the IoT market in Germany as well. Also, through a Vidcom research study from the last year, 2021, it was found this COVID situation, this COVID-19 situation has led many companies through their way to digitalization. And this way, IoT, 3D printers and 5G are starting to gain a lot more importance in company, be used by them and be part of the main strategy for these companies. In this research were included 551 industrial companies with more than 100 employees. The metaverse might be also something interesting that might have a lot of influence on the IoT world. Well, if you didn't know about it, Facebook changed the name to Meta. Microsoft also announced a very own version of Metaverse, which in summary is a mixed reality platform in which you go there and you're gonna be able to see all these holograms and perceive this virtual reality in a real way. This way will come the term also of industrial metaverse, which is going to be very interesting, I think, because it's going to help and bring a lot of opportunities also for product development and manufacturing. But that's going to be a different topic I might use for a different video. So that's what I found about the IoT market landscape in Germany in general. I think it's a very interesting topic that's going to keep gaining relevance year after year and bring many opportunities in all kinds of industries, in all kinds of areas. As the government keeps giving support as well, not just for the digitalization or smart cities, or also keep improving and working on the IT infrastructure of the country. 
If you happen to know more about this topic, if you have worked maybe with something related to IoT or if you have a startup or a company related to it, please let me know about it. Even if it's in another country, even better. It doesn't have to be just in Germany. So please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate your contribution and to know more about it from a different perspective as well. So that's all by now. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in another video.